Hello folks, this is Hessian Lord, and thank you for tuning in for the second part of the E230, E320, sorry, Mercedes. And I found some more problems than I actually thought. This valve cover on top, this one, goes all the way back, has been leaking. I added fresh silicone on it, so I'm putting that back on. This side, you can tell it's been leaking for a while. That has to be changed out as well. But that one has to be re-silicone cleaned up, thrown back together. So I'm going to take off all this, clean all that up, there's some oil leak right there. And then I'm just gonna slap everything together. So right now I'm basically putting on the hoses and lines that were there before. The old hoses did break off, so I'm not too happy about that. They should be just easy peasy lemon squeezies, but it never goes. That sample. So I'm gonna put you right about there, so that way you can see me. I'll be right over here. Me. Okay. Be right over there. I'm gonna tighten down this one real quick. One second. So what I had to basically do was jimmy rig some hoses just to put them together, which is not easy. So, because the plastic piece did break, so I got this hose right here, okay? I'm gonna take off, let's see about like right here, right here off, slide it on this hose that's right here sticking up like a little doily. Because these are two breather hoses, the two breather tubes. So I'm gonna go cut this shorter. Now instead of a long hose, I got a smaller hose. Beep, beep. I'm gonna slide that monkey under here. It should just go on smoothly. Should. Ooh. That is a mule. This cannot leak either, because it's not gonna get to Eva up and eat. And sorry for the train, okay? I live next to a train, so it never ends. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. We got it. So let's tighten down the drop cover on this side. So, which is you. major train. On these bolts, Mercedes bolts, do not go too tight because you will snap them off. I noticed that before. Because these monkeys, I get them too tight, and all of a sudden, oh, hey, hello, snap. Just tight enough, okay? Not too tight. Good. And I figured out what was going on with my air suspension. I'll show you how to do that little trick too. That was really easy. Really easy to do. Oh, my small ratchet. And my little hex head. I can only got one over here. What's going on? Did I put one somewhere else? I might have. Nope, I only got one. I don't know where the other one walked off to, which is not good. Hmm. This other one dropped somewhere that I do not see. Huh. Okay. That's not good. It's only got one hex head, a small one. Put that right in the front right there. I'm thinking about getting a uh, GoPro cam and have it on my body so that way you guys can see what I'm doing. You know, simple as that. That is a cat, by the way. Tighten this thing down just a little bit. I siliconed this whole thing again. These little top parts of the gaskets, there's no gaskets. It's just silicone. So that's all it is. I hear the cat, but I don't see the cat. That's the thing. But you can't snap these off. These are very delicate. Right there. Okay, here comes the really fun part that I've been struggling with the whole time. Getting that hose into the breather that's in the side. I've been having trouble with this because I needed the correct hose, the correct fit, and the correct length. So I'm gonna slide that down here, underneath that fuel rail, slide that up, over there, into here, underneath my throttle body, slide that up. I'm gonna have to lift that up just a little bit, pinch this down, and then slide that monkey right in there. So I'm gonna hop on the hood of this thing. Ooh. 
move that screwdriver so it doesn't stab me in the ass. Okay, and it's right there. That's where I gotta go. Okay, so take this, go down, lift that up just a little bit, move it back that way. Okay, I'm gonna go, hmm. This may be a struggling little monkey, but it's gonna be on here, that's for damn sure. I wonder if I can go on top of that fuel. If I can go on top of that fuel, it should be fine. So let's do that. Top of that fuel, through there, through there. Get it to right about there. Oh, I'm taking a hose with me, no wonder. Slide that down. Slide you down, there we go, good girl. Okay, let me slide you back just a little bit, pinch you. Pinch you just a little bit, push that back in. This video may be a little bit long, so if you guys want to sit here and stay with me, that's great. If you guys want to. I'm not making any money off these YouTube videos. I'm showing you guys how to do things. Not making any money off this whatsoever. Slide that down. I cannot break this because this piece. I had to go to AutoZone to get this piece, these little plastic PVCs. Okay, let's slide back. I'm going to push you down just a little bit more. There it goes. Because you heard that pop just slide in there. Okay, now I'm going to pull it toward me. Pull it toward me just a little bit more. Got that monkey into position. I've been noticing this car. Well, I called the uh, dealership that did service on it, and they were telling me that nothing has been done to this car, which makes me even more scared to do this project because if nothing has been done to this car, that's a major issue. Like transmission service, rear differential service. As you can tell, it's going to be really fun. And I will do these projects for you on here so you guys can see what I'm actually doing. Okay, so I'm going to slide this thing up again because it's not fitting through. Ooh. Okay, slide that monkey into position. Slide you in. A little more. I need a little more. A little more slide than that. Let's slide. Okay. Oh, oh, pushing the hose out. No, I can't afford that. <clears throat> but I think we're pretty much in, but this thing is not wanting to go the way I want it to. I'm thinking if I can do that. So I'm gonna take this out. Take you completely out. Yep, it came off. Grab my hose because I know if, I, if that thing falls, it's not going to be pretty. I'll slide you back on. See, now it's already stretched, so it's easy to put back on. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go right here in front of the fuel rail. Right here, maybe. Or can I go through that hole? Ah, oh, I can go through that hole. Woo, that makes it so much easier. Oh, slide it through like a penis. I'm sorry about my dark humor. I am a mechanic. Mechanics always have dark humor. Okay. Oh yeah. Come on. You're right there. Come on. And I've been working on this project for about a day now. Just, you know, seeing what it needed to be done. I did figure out the rear air suspension, which is not good. Come on. Slide in there. Like a good little girl. Come on. Who's blocking it? No, it can't be. No, it's not sliding in all the way. I think my hose is blocking it. There we go. It's just being stubborn. Slide that through. Make sure I'm going through. Make sure I'm going down and in. It's a little wiggle wiggle. This kind of stuff takes patience and time because you got to get it right the first time. You know? Because if you don't, you're going to be coming back to the same area, doing the same shit, and it's not going to be peaceful. This hose right here has to be cut back just a little bit more. The big hose has to be cut back a little bit more. But as soon as I do that, it should be easy peasy. So I wonder if I can take this thing off right here. Nope, I'm going to have to take the whole thing out again. Okay, let's cut this thing down a little bit more. So this big hose has to be cut down some more. So let me go grab my knife. And I gotta take that piece out of here too without breaking it. I wonder if I can just pinch it. Pinch it up. Nope. Where's my pliers? There we are. Try to get it without breaking it. Try to. Just try. You know, no guarantees or anything, but just try. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that felt good. Okay. Let's cut this down like a good, I don't know, 
little inch, about like that much, taken off. Then it should just slide in nicely. Let me go get my knife. Oh, yeah. So when I first started this on the side, <coughs> sorry about that, this uh, hoses that I was taking off were not coming off so easily. They were being stubborn, they kept on breaking, and I was like, I don't think anyone even touched these hoses when I was here. Nobody even touched these hoses. I'm gonna cut it back to right there, right here. Okay. But no one touched the hoses, no one did anything of the sort. There's that hose. Okay, slide this piece back on. Should just slide right on. Ooh, nifty, I love it. Slide this piece back on. And no, this won't mess up anything with the air. This is just a vent tube. That's all it is. It's not like a major importance. Ooh, there we go. All right, sliding back on. Up, through that hole again, down. Going down, into there. Going down a little more, going through that hole a little more. I can't have it pinched, that's why I cut it down. I can't have it pinching itself because no air is going to rub through it. So I had to do it this way in order for me to get it right. If you don't get it right the first time, keep trying again. Don't give up on it because you will sooner or later get it in there. Okay, that's the one thing about us. Don't give up. Keep on hitting it. You know, just go for it. Just uh, that bitch. Sliding that hose through. Looks like we're in that hole completely, which is great. Okay, slide that thing up just a little more, get that in there. Right now, we are, we are in. Looks good, okay. Now, since that's not gonna sit back down because I have that right there, okay, um, that's gonna be fine, that's gonna be fine. What they did here was they zip tied a lot of this shit on here, which is not good, you know? Never zip tie anything, okay? But this hose now is blocking my way. So I'm wondering, I probably have to take it off, slide it down to the rail, and then slide it back in again. So let's do that. Take this off again. It's all about trial and error. Test fit, fit, test fit, fit, test fit, fuck, doesn't fit, you know, that kind of stuff. So push that down, a wiring harness, back on the fuel rail, okay? Then I'm gonna, oh, look at that, more room. Oh my God, I should have done that before. Okay, down, up, up, into that hole. I did silicone that hole too, so no air would leak through it. So this thing will be safe and secure. That looks a hell of a lot better. We're in the hole, we're in the hole. Yay, okay, cool. There's a vent tube. There's two vent tubes that I have to work on. This one, this long bastard, goes to the back of the vents, which is right here, and it goes down into here, inside the block, and the side of your intake manifold, and inside of your intake which is, I think this hose I have is a little bit too long. And I do believe I have to go through the bottom of the harness. I'm gonna get the bottom one in first because I can just always cut the top. I don't have to take off the bottom, you know? Just get my fat fingers in there, which is gonna be great because Mercedes doesn't like their space. I like my personal space. I don't know about you guys. I love my personal space. You know? This car, I feel like I'm being violated. Oh, oh. And what also helps too, if you lube your hoses, that way they slide on a hell of a lot easier. My lube is inside the house right now, but I can always run and go grab it. But I do believe I can get that with my pinchers, pliers by the way, into here next to my throttle body, grab the hose from the back of it, and then just wiggle it on. And hopefully it goes smoothly. See, I can't even see what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try it. Go, 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 go. Aye. Go back just a little bit more. Try to wiggle it in there. Did not wiggle. Okay, go down, let's go up. Wiggle, wiggle. Sideways, wiggle, wiggle. Let it go on. Barely. It's barely on there, but I don't like barely. I like it all the way on there. Oh my god, Mercedes. A few suggestions. I need some fucking room, man. Oh yeah. Just wiggling it on there right now. Just wiggle, wiggle. So all I gotta do is wiggle, wiggle. Okay, now I think I got get the bottoms on, the tops on, so now I'm gonna pinch it and push it forward. So now, get in here again. 
Yeah, I've been thinking about getting a GoPro so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. It'll be a lot easier for you. Then we can actually know what I'm doing. Okay. Bottom ends in. Now I just have to cut this one to length. So right there, it needs to be cut. So I'm gonna cut it to right about here. So my knife again, wherever I put it. Where did I put that knife? It should be here in front of me somewhere because I just cut that hose. There it is. It's hiding from me. Knife, steak knife, by the way. Easier to cut hoses. And these hoses that I'm using are heater hoses. That way, they don't bend, they don't stretch, they don't concave, that kind of thing. I'm gonna cut this one to size. I had to look at my spark plugs too. I'll have to take one off and show you guys. But I saw oil in one of the plugs, which is not good. Never have oil in your spark plugs. That tells you that your valve seats are going down. Your valve seats are screwed. That means a whole lot of head work that's going. If I cut my finger on camera, at least you guys will get a good laugh. Oh yeah. So there's my mark. Get this, cut it right here. Easy peasy lemon squeezies. Like that, get down, slide this thing down. These are always fun to put on. Cut it to length, make sure you're not pinching anything. Make sure it's not pinched. Make sure it just, you know, is nice. Okay, so now I've got my pinchers. I'm gonna go down, turn it, wiggle it. Not pinched. Hmm, hmm. I don't think I like that, but might have to go under the feel. Hmm. Because I don't want it to rub through, you know, and rub through the feel line. That would be a bad issue. Um, let me think. I'm going to try to go underneath the fuel line because I don't want it, you know. This thing you want is for it to be, you know, shit fuel everywhere. That kind of shit. That's the least thing you want. Oh, no. The bottom came out. <laughs> so let's get it from the bottom first. Go down here. Oh yeah, there we go. Underneath the fuel rail. Underneath the fuel field. Underneath the fuel lines. Okay, I'm going go down here again with my fingers. Push it back. Push it back. Try to slide it on with my fingers. And then I'll get the pliers out, the pinchers. Okay, it's there. Okay, it is there, so I have to get the pinchers out. Pinchers. Go behind the hose, just a little bit, like about an inch. And then grab it and then try to wiggle it in place. Mm. No. Nope, it's looking at me and laughing. <sighs> okay. I wonder, I should have. Yeah, I gotta go above the fuel line anyway. I gotta go above the fuel line anyway. So it didn't look right and it was pink. So I'm gonna go through here again. Slide that monkey back into place. Which is right there. Well, could use a little more, but not bad. Oh, here's some space. It's all about a car, it's finding space. Now we're dead nuts onto it. Now I'm happy. Okay, now I'm gonna slide this back just a little bit. Slide that down, and then grab my pinchers. Pincher, pinch. Slide that onto that one. Oh, back off. That tells me that. Nope, don't like it. I don't think the bottom end's on. And my hose is pinched. There we go. We're on all the way around. Yes, we are. Hose is done. That was my major issue when I took apart this side right here. This side had two hoses going to it. It was a nightmare because these hoses are old and brittle. I bought new hoses, slapped on, and ran it through. But this is gonna work great. No one's gonna even notice, okay? This video will be long. Fair warning, because <laughs> I got a lot to do and I got a lot to show you. So, as you know, the E320 is running 12 spark plugs. 12 spark plugs, oh, that's not good. Let's go look at the spark plugs. Ah. And three coil packs aside, each coil pack has two lines to it, two spark plug wires. Here's your coil packs. Beep, 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 beep. These little big bastards. Here's the hose that I just did, the one that's sliding through. Here's the big hose that I had to go through. I was gonna go underneath this fuel line, then look right. I slid on top, slid right in, looks fine, okay? These are your spark plug wires. Just pull them, okay? As you can see, I got a little oil in there. I'm not happy about that at all. So I'm gonna take out that plug right down there. It's right down there, five eighths. Take that off. I'm also gonna look at the top of the boots as well, because someone did do this in Orlando, but I don't trust them. These do look brand new, but I gotta clean them up. 
and then I'm gonna see what she's doing underneath. Lord be with us. Lord be with me, please. It's a 5.8 socket for those ratchet as well. Small extension. So let's go grab our 5.8 right here, which is, hmm, let me see here. I have all these organized. All of these organized. Nope, it shouldn't be that one. <laughs> nope, those are metrics. I need SAEs, please. Which is right here. 5 eighths exactly. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go, 5 eighths. I have my small extension out there. I need my long ratchet, please. Long ratchet. And now let's go look at some spark plugs. The first spark plug will tell you all of what she's doing, which is I don't want to know. Because if I have a major issue with this car, I'm not going to be happy. So I'm going to put you right here. extension okay. oh god I don't want to know okay, here we go. spark plug one is should be way down here somewhere should be right there if she wants to go Oh, okay, so spark plug did come out nicely, did not even a hard turn, but I'm gonna find out here in a second how bad, but I am gonna be doing spark plugs on this car soon, and I'll show you how to gap them and put them in the right way, okay? I will show you that, okay? That way you can do spark plugs yourself, tune up yourself, the belt yourself, everything. No more going to the shop, that costs you so much money. Right now these hoses that I just put in, would have cost you about a thousand bucks just to slap them in yourself. Just to slap me in my ship, which is not good. And oh no, I saw my socket and it's covered in oil. Oh no, that's not good, man. If your spark plugs are covered in oil, it's not good. So now I'm just trying to find out where the freaking spark plug is again. Come on, where are you? Come on. Okay. That's a where are you? Oh, is that you right there? Yep, that's you right there. I kind of was wondering, I was like, where is it? Please, for the love of God, give me strength, please. Okay, I got the spark plug. Ready to reveal? Oh. We are dry. Those are dry. This part is dry. That's what you want to see, okay? If this was all wet, like right down here, see how that's wet, okay? If it was like that right up here, you would have a serious fucking problem. You're talking about ripping apart your head, ripping apart everything just to get to these spark plugs and doing the oil seats. But I can tell them that these haven't been changed. You know why? They have stock Mercedes logos on them. That means this motor has not had a tune-up since 2004. Always check when you buy a car always so now that I know that this is dry that tells me the rest are going to be dry which is great so I'm just gonna clean this thing up just a little bit slap it back in tighten down the torque specs and I'm gonna work on the other side valve cover the top valve cover not the second one the very top one because it is leaking I'm gonna silicone I'm gonna show you how to clean it up throw it back together wait for the silicone to dry for about an hour then you should be able to fire up your car so let's go clean up this monkey slap it back in okay All right, but I'm just shocked. I'm just relieved. I'm like, oh my God, I bet the wife's gonna be happy too that we don't have to do any major motor work. Oh, the only thing major that I'm worried about is that transmission. They haven't done a transmission service on it since, I don't know, 90,000 miles, which ain't good. The car has 192,000 miles on it right now. So that means it exceeded 100,000 miles without no transmission service. So, spark plug is cleaned up, no oil. Let's go back in. Oh, it's just, it's just, it's just, Scary, very scary, very scary. And as soon as I get the spark plug in, I can put on the top hose that's running across the top. I can bolt everything else up in place, and it should be easy peasy lemon squeeze from there. So I'll put you right there, spark plug going in. Where is it? Follow the leader. Ooh, someone did damage this block before. Someone did damage this. 
Oh, that's casting, okay. <laughs> that's straight casting. I was like, oh no, please no. Please, no, 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 no. Don't break anything. If you break something, shit. And this block just stabbed me because it's that sharp. But I'm gonna hand, put it on by hand for a quick. So when you put your spark plug in, put your socket on it, hand turn it for right now. Don't strip those threads that's inside. You strip those heads, that's machine work. And I'm sure you guys don't wanna do that. Okay, so now I'm getting close to the hand tighten mark. Right there, grab my big ass ratchet here. Okay, okay, I'm gonna slap that on right now. As soon as you get it tight, you wanna go like not even three quarters of a turn, okay? So I'll show you. So let me get it really tight really quick. Just tightening it down all the way. You can hear it. Okay, now I have tightened right now. Okay, that is tightened right now. So it's already tightened. It's already tight. Okay, you want to go right there. Right there's where you want to be. After you get it tight. Okay, right there's where you want to be. But yeah, I'm squeezy. I'm happy. No more work. All it just needs is a tune up. Easy, shit done, easy. This uh, spark plug wire has seen some shit. I'm gonna check the other spark plug wire to go into the plug, make sure it's not gummed up either. So I'm just gonna wiggle it. It should just pop right out. Whew, man, don't like that. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like that at all. I hate how it's that tight, especially the fucking room, dude. The fucking room is just fucking, ugh. Okay, I'm gonna check the back one. If the back one has oil on it, we're not good. Ooh. I may have to take part of these core packs individually, but I'll leave them on for right now until I do spark plugs and I'll show you guys. Okay, but now we're gonna put it in our line. Make sure you hear a click. You heard that click? That's what you wanna hear about your spark plug wires. That's seating down, that's what you wanna hear. So, now I can put all this stuff on this side of the engine. So, I'm gonna leave you right there. These are my coil packs. Okay. As you can tell, they're all linked up. Uh, I, I'm gonna go like this. They're all linked up, so you just have to go in here. You hear a click. That one's in. Click on this one. That one's in. Click on this one. That one's in. Try to give her a little pull, see if she comes out. They go a little bit far out, a little bit out, but that's normal for Mercedes. Okay, that's normal for Mercedes. So, and if you have a check engine light on after this, you know you fucked something up. You know you didn't. Um, oh, that's lovely. This old wiring harness, dude, it's just fucking lovely. So now I'm gonna put that back in. That's in, that's in. I'm gonna run this line. I had to take off this line, which is, where the hell did I put you? Right there. I had to take off this line because of my hoses. This line is really easy to put somewhere. Really easy to put. So, you want to run this from the top, from right over here, down to your air tube. Make sure you don't break anything else because of all this old plastic. Okay, run that back. Okay, and you're going to run that to the top of your fuel rail. Because that thing slides underneath it and then slides back into that hole that's on top. So, I have to climb up here again on my car and slide it back in that hole. So, get that to right in there. You push her down. As soon as you can get it. It's kind of going to be stubborn for you because it's Mercedes, everything is stubborn. Okay, right there. You can glide that thing down. Where's my screwdriver? Add some pressure to it just to glide it down. Okay, I do believe we're on, but I have to push it down some more. Yeah, if you guys buy a Mercedes, prepare for the worst, okay? Because you never know what's, gonna, what's done to the car, what's not done to the car. Okay, prepare for the worst, okay? Because you don't know. I didn't know what was wrong with this car when I got it. Until I got into it and I started digging everything apart and I was like, yeah, we got some air shocks issues in the morning that I didn't like. So now I have to do rear air shocks. I'll show you how to do that too. Don't worry about that. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, I'll grab my pinchers here really quick because she's not wanting to go on. She's like a redhead step child. I just have to keep on smacking every once in a while. I'm sorry about the dark humor. Like I said, I'm a mechanic. We have dark humor. Okay, there we go. Let me see if I can push this thing toward me. Oh, slid out. Okay, get it back in there. There we go. 
Ugh, I tried to wiggle that thing down and in there. I cannot break this line because this line is like a major airline. Okay, we are sitting down a little bit. I'm just gonna get my screwdriver, pry it down a little bit more. Okay. Other than that, as soon as I get her up on the ramps, I'll show you guys what I'm looking for too. For the uh, transmission. And if it is leaking, I have to do a transmission service on all that for sure. I'll show you guys how to do that as well. Really simple to do. This line is not wanting to cooperate with me. It's being a stubborn bitch. Major stubborn bitch. Because it's old plastic. And it's cold out. Working out plastic when it's cold when it's cold out is not good. So I'm gonna try to push it down and wiggle it. Okay. It's as far as I can go with that. But I do believe I have to go a little more. Um, should I went underneath it? Maybe. Let me see if I can go underneath it. Underneath. Let's go down. Up. Let's see if I can pry it up. Up a little bit more. That's probably why she wouldn't go in. It's because I had it the wrong direction. Ooh, there we go. Slide it that way. A little bit to the left. Okay. Yeah, that bend does make sense. Now I can just take this and go this way. Oh yeah, that made a difference. That made a difference. Put that there. Put that right there. Okay, that's on. That's gonna rub right there. That's fine because it has a sheet over it. But the other line installed. Okay, now for the bad side. Okay. Wooey, this is gonna be fun. And I'm gonna check a spark plug too. Let's pull that one off right now. Beep beep beep. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna have to give it a little wiggle wiggle, but do not break these spark plug wires. Oh, that one came out so peaceful. Is there any oil in spark plug wire? We're gonna find out right now. Yes, there is. A lot. So, guess what that means? Five eighths. Tear it apart. I'll move you over here. Right there. Let's take off a spark plug. We already know one side is fine. We're at one side. Let's find out the other side. I don't wanna, I don't wanna find out. Just, it's like bad news, like hearing you got cancer. Like, ooh, that came out really nicely. Not a major touch. Which is great. There we go. Let's go back it off. <laughs> you know one of those angry, freaking angry masturbation videos? You know, you hear those death metal songs. You know, angry masturbation video. Jack it off with like 80 grit sandpaper, you know? Just rubbing that to, you know. Okay. So, plug. You can see this heat shield's in my way. Should be able to just twist it off with your fingers now. As soon as you get it loose, just twist it off with your fingers. But my fingers are all covered in shit, so. Yeah, I took the day off work today just to attend to this thing because I knew it's gonna be fighting me. And so far, she has been fighting me. But, fight, kick, scream, bitch, moan. She's gonna be running the right way. That's the thing. Uh, the air filters haven't been changed, as you can see in the previous video. Cabin air filter I checked hasn't been changed in the previous video. Not yet, so I'm gonna slide this thing out. Oh, almost got my spark plug. She almost came out with me. I wonder if I can just pull up my fingers right now. Here we go. Ready? I haven't seen it yet. I'm looking at you. One, two, three. That is dry. Just wet on the outside. So that tells me that. Let me see here. That has been leaking down. Well, God fucking damn it. Is that a gasket or is that silicone? That is a gasket. I'm gonna have to do valve cover gaskets. Top and bottom. But that tells me that she has been leaking. So I gotta take off the top valve cover, the bottom valve cover, because they're both leaking. And I gotta do the same to the other side. Might as well, because don't do one at a time, do them in pairs, okay? So, I'm gonna take this off. I didn't want to see this, but now I gotta go clean this thing up now. Let me just use my coat and call it good, you know? Just wipe it off on me, you know? Which should be nice and dry. But the spark plug was dry. Just the outside right here was covered in oil, just the outside. So that means oil's getting to it, but it's not inside the cylinders, which is great. It's inside the cylinders, shit, okay? Sorry about the train. <sighs> the fucking trains never stop around here. 
I live like not even a block away from the goddamn train. It's like right next door to my ass, which is not good. I fucking hate that train. But I'm still gonna take apart this top one. Um, I need to clean up those spark plug wires and I need to add some dielectric on them too, which is not good. I hate doing that shit. So take off my core pack wires, slide this thing on. The spark plug finger tight first, like I said. Ooh, she's going slowly. There we go. And then we'll be ratchet. Okay. And I'll show you how to do a belt on this thing too. I got like multiple parts on order for this car. Multiple. I'll show you how to do each and every one of them. But all I'm trying to do is to get her fired up, put her on the ramp, take apart the bottom sheet, and then fucking see if the transmission is detonated or not. Because I am hearing a wobbling. But I do believe... I do believe that uh, transmission service needs to be done and the tires need to be balanced, so. Not looking for good news just yet. We're not out of the park just yet. But we will be. This Mercedes is gonna be one clean monkey. Listen to the pop. You know your spark plugs on. Good. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna have me a Marlboro. Oh. Future smokers out there. Future non-smokers out there. Don't smoke. Future smokers, have fun. Now, check out this other valve cover. This is what we're talking about right here. This piece right here. See how it's leaking outside? See how it's leaking down there? All the way down here? So, that has to come off. Do it again, and it's super pretty. So, leave it right back up there. Take them apart right now. Make sure I go the off direction. A little bit too long of an extension. Beep. I'm gonna leave that hose off because it can have three hoses on it. And make sure none of your bolts are fucking, you know, broken off. Like right now, those are pretty, came off pretty nice. Which is kind of shocking me. When someone has been working on this car before, but someone did an obvious shitty job. Do it right the first time. Did you say, oh yeah, I did that for sure, man. I ripped that bitch apart myself. And see how clean it looks? Clean, neat, purdy. Oh man, just go like, oh my god, dude. Wow. Then your friends would be like, can you work on my car? You know how you're doing? You know? That's something you have to look forward to, you know. Second bolt on top. If you don't have hex heads, okay, don't work on Mercedes. If you do, go get some. Oh, if you don't, go get some. But do not use a screwdriver on these bolts, you're just gonna screw them up badly hopefully this side comes off last last side over there i use a hammer but tell the wife the good news that we don't have any head problems which is great that's what i'm looking forward to these coil packs the wires alone for the spark plugs are 306 bucks alone just for wires 306 bucks okay of course parts is gonna ring you but if you do it yourself it's not gonna kill you just spend the whole day out there. Take your time with it. Don't be like, uh, rip this thing off. Uh, you know, take your time with it. Learn it. See what she's telling you. And then go forth from there. You know? Just take your time with her. You know? That's all we can do. This car, I never worked on an E320 before. Never. This is my first time working on it. And honestly, that's been a pleasure. Pleasure working on this car. It's a real joy. I enjoy it. You know? Could be worse. Could be way worse. Now I got that one off. Now I'm gonna see if she comes off easily. If not, she didn't come off easy. So, screwdriver. Just get into one of the little nippies. Oh, listen to that pry right there. Oh my God. You can tell this thing hasn't been changed in a while. Nobody decided to do this. Because I looked at the Carfax on this. This car hasn't been in an accident, which is great. Oh my God. She needs an oil change. You see that gummed up right there? It's all gummed. She needs an oil change. But yeah, look at the Carfax. Hasn't been in an accident. Um, I'm taking off all the old silicone right now. Hasn't been in an accident. It's been clean. You know, they've done a couple services to it, but nothing too drastic. Like a power steering hose, that kind of stuff, but nothing too major what we're digging into. Because people are afraid that the shop is charging them for stuff that they don't actually need. You know, obviously, if you see an oil leak, take care of the fucking thing, you know. But if they're like, oh, just a the little things need to be done, 
take it in there, see what needs to be done. If it's drastic, major, leaking, go in there and take care of it. Really easy, really simple to do. Just make sure you take care of it. I'm just surprised the intake manifold is not leaking. Oh no. Let me see. It may be, and that's gonna be even fun of a nightmare to take off. Because once again, Mercedes. Okay, so now I need to take off my coil packs. I'm gonna clean it right inside the cover, which is right there. Here we are. Okay, slide that to the side for right now. Get my little ratchet wherever I put it. There, just. It's always right in front of you. Oh, shit, man. I'm just gonna take off my coil packs, slide them to the side, clean up that valve cover, take off all the old silicone from the top. And then I got to prepare for the valve cover on this side, which is I have to take it off, slide everything out of the way, and yeah, don't want to get the parts in stock. Yeah, so far parts I spent on this car was about a thousand. No, not bad, not huge. I'm just gonna slide this valve cover to the side. As soon as you get your core pack loose like that, it just came off. Grab your nut. Grab that bolt that goes through it. Grab it with your hands because it will slide out and it will go down the road. It'll go down in your pan, which is not good. Okay, there's one. Slide that out of the way. Do the other one. Oh, this thing's been leaking for a while, man. There we go. Got it. I'm just doing coil pack taking off right now. It only has one bolt on the coil pack. Just one. Stay down, push it, grab the nut, slide the call back the way. One more to go. But I'd like to take some time and tell you folks that uh, I enjoy making videos. I enjoy teaching you guys how to do this. I enjoy you know, showing you guys how to do this as well. This is really simple to do, not hard. If a shop charges you more than what you need, don't do it, okay? Do it yourself. That's why I'm here. I'm here to show you that you can do this stuff yourself, okay? It's not hard, okay? And what shocked me was that this morning, I was thinking my air shocks in the rear would go low. They didn't go low. They stayed up. And what was even stranger is when I uh, saw that the air shocks were low in the back yesterday, I go closer to it and I parked it up on a ramp. So I got the ass in the ramp, on the ramp. Then all of a sudden, the uh, ass end decided to rise up. Really weird. So that tells me the air shocks are sticking, which means it has to be replaced, which is I don't want to do it. <laughs> but I'm going to, you know, it's, it's a fun part, you know, I'll show you guys everything too. Okay, so this one is out. Grab the nut, push it in, slide it down, out of the way. Okay, now all coil packs are off. All three. All, both, all three are off. So I'm going to slide them out of the way. So that way I can get to my bolts that are holding my valve cover in place. Okay. So I'm gonna take my wiring over here, out of the way. Okay, I gotta take off this valve cover. And it's really simple, there's like six, seven bolts that are on the outside of it. So this whole piece right here, this whole piece is coming off. See these little bolts right here? There's like eight or nine of them that go all the way down. Really simple to do, really easy to take off. So we're gonna do that right now. That's our next project. So let's get our ratchet out. Put that socket over there, grab this one. Okay, that one's loose. Okay, that one's loose. People are having fun over there across the street. Over there's like a major mud pit. You know, people just go over there. And just, yeah. I'm thinking about getting my drill out here because it'll take a little bit longer than expected. Just to use my hand. So that 5 8 right there. Grab this. So we're going to pop off this valve cover. Sure, in the tighter spots, like next to the firewall right there, I'm going to have to... Uh, Use my other ones. Let me see here. Is there anything hidden in the back here? No. Not even inside here. Nope. So that's just holding on. Okay. There's one. There's a back one right here. But that's covered up by a plate. Let me see here. I have to hop up here. Again, on my car. Let me see if there's a bolt back here. 
Nope, there's no bolt back there. But I do believe there's one in the corner. Nope. 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 Right there. Right there. Okay, there's that one loose. There's one right there. They're all going to be next to your uh, coil packs and your spark plug wires. All these wires. All these little bolts. So this video will be long. Probably about an hour. About an hour and a half. Depends on how she acts. Okay, here's another one right here. Because this one is in my way. Right there. Slide that wire out of the way. That should be all of the bolts right there. Wiring. Get out of my way, please. Sometimes the wires just get in your way and you're just like, ugh, get the fuck out of my way. Simple, fuck off. Okay, stay right there, be good. Okay, let's see if we can get these off my finger. Nope. I need my really small extension and I'm gonna grab my drill too. That's all. Yay. So this should be all faster now. Just take this off right about here. Okay, I'm in reverse. Go ahead and take that off. Okay, take this one off. Okay, that's good. Got cover bolts I'm putting over here on the side. Okay, next one. Okay, make sure you don't drop these. By the way. Okay, now I do believe I can't get my drill in there in the back. So, I'm gonna have to do these by hand, if not by the small end of my racket. Because these are really tight to get to. Really much of a nightmare. I'm gonna take that spark wire out. There we go. Out, down, out of the way. Now, oh, fingers. Okay, man, that thing has been leaking for a while. I can tell. So to take it off, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean it up, throw it back on. You know, because this stuff should be really easy to do. There it goes, the other spark plug wire that was in my way. Slide that down. Do this with the battery off, by the way, so your battery is disconnected. The positive doesn't have to be the negative be the positive okay really simple to do it's a 10 millimeter sample okay this bolt's giving me a little bit of a hard time because I'm doing it by fingers just a little bit of a hard time but like I said bitch moan whine complain it'll come off yeah, yeah. yeah that tells me no one's been here that way I can actually check to see the spark plugs and how bad this motherfucker's been leaking. So slide my other coat back out of the way. Disconnect the back wire. Just wiggle it up and down, side to side, until you hear it pop loose, okay? Do not be yanking on it. That's been in there for a while. Ooh, finger tight. Yay. Okay. Doesn't look like any other bolts inside there, which is great. Should be no other bolts on the back. Just this one. There should be nothing else back there. Nope. Okay. And that, I have no idea what that buzzing noise is. There it goes. Just some asshole. Come on. Come on. Got it. Don't drop the bolt. Got her. Okay. Now, let's see if it pulls apart with hands, or if not, screwdriver. Screwdriver. <laughs> I can never get the easy way out. Never. Right there. Oh man, this thing's been sitting here a while. I don't want to be beating on it either, because I don't want to destroy this damn thing. I may have to get my rubber hammer out, which I think is in the trunk.
rubber handle, no metal. Because metal, you gotta bend it, crack it, crack it. So give it a few light taps. Make sure she's loose. Sorry about the train. I didn't slide through. So now I'm gonna go for an edge. She popped. She popped loose. Just go for a crack with your screwdriver. Don't hit it too hard. Then you'll feel it. Oh man, wow. Wow. No one's done these in a while. Nobody's done this one in a while. Fuck. That's not good. Now we're gonna slide her up. Now wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. What did they do here? There it goes. But the gasket seems to be intact, but it has, uh huh, it has been leaking on the bottom right here, right there, right here, right here, and hitting my spark plug wires. That is a no no. Okay, so I cleaned that side up, so that's fine. Everything else looks, it looks clean in here. It is really clean. I'll show you guys here in a second. It's clean. There's no sludge, no nothing. These rockers are clean. There's no gazing, there's no gouging. I see no metal fragments. So I think I might have got a winner. Look at that. Look at how pretty that monkey is. Wow, timing chain still looks perfect. Okay, my sliders are correct, good. Okay, but yeah, that looks beautiful. That's why it's leaking and going down on my spark plug wires. That's why. Okay, so let me get my other spark plug wire that I took off, which is you. That monkey is clean. Just a little oil on it, but it's clean because it's been leaking. Leaking down and going onto them. Yeah. Spark plug. You are right. Where are you? Right there. Yeah. It would hit and go down. So, since the gasket is pristine, it is looking good. I'm going to add a bead of silicone to it. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. Let's do it. Yeah. So that tells me I got to take apart this side again. Okay. I take that part of that side again and do that. But right now uh, in this video here, I'll upload two videos and I'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you once again for joining Hessian and his car projects. Once again, leave me a like on Facebook and or a comment and I will freaking reply to you. Okay. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye.